I own exactly 45 items of clothing in my minimalist year-round closet. Counting helps me to curb my desire to buy, yet we should never forget that it's just a number and it can look different for everyone. Let's take a look at the items of clothing in my minimalist closet. This light white sweater is perfect for the first warm spring days or as an extra layer below a thicker sweater during the winter months. This cashmere sweater is actually my boyfriend's and it's already 13 years old. It's 100% cashmere and I can only recommend buying your cashmere sweater secondhand, for example, via Etsy. The same goes for this sweater. It's very old, 100% cashmere and one of my favorites. Unfortunately, it had some hole in it. I fixed it and from far away, no one can tell. <laughs> I start to repeat myself because this sweater is also an old one from my boyfriend. So here is my call to action one more time. Go and get vintage cashmere sweaters. They are the best. This sweater I got from my sister-in-law for Christmas. It's my comfy sweater for cozy days at home. You wanted to show us your outfit? What's your favorite outfit, baby? You're always beautifully dressed. Huh? Love you. <laughs> this cardigan is also 100% cashmere from a brand called Hemisphere. It's soft and cozy, a perfect layer to top on colder days. Next we have a shorter sweater from the brand RUMI. It's one of the only brands that never disappointed me with the quality. I got this sweater a couple years ago and I love the quality, look and shape. This long sleeve I got recently and it's already one of my favorites. When buying new, I always look for tops that match my skin tone. I recently got a color analysis and learned that I'm a warm summer and I feel like this top matches my skin tone perfectly. I got two of the same tops from the brand Osho. I wear them as a bra, as a sports bra or as a t-shirt on warm days. I wear them almost daily and wash them a lot, but the quality is so very good. I love them and I hope they stay with me forever. <laughs> Next is this baby doll top from Asus. I absolutely love baby doll tops as I feel like they look very feminine and cute. And here's the last top for now. It's also actually my boyfriend's t-shirt and it's long enough to wear it with leggings or as a dress. I currently only have this one dress. It's also from the brand RUMI. I love the flirty look in summer. I definitely want to get one or two dresses for this summer or I'm actually planning to sew it. And I ordered two more t-shirts on Etsy as I'm a bit out of tops right now. As I didn't have any hangers that don't slip, I simply wrapped some old fabric around it and fixed it with a cable tie. Like this, the clothes stay on the hanger. My favorite thing to wear in summer is shorts. I've got these black ones from a great brand called Inakes. These cycling shorts are also from the brand RUMI. They are made out of a thick cotton rib knit and I feel like they are more flattering than other cycling shorts. I have one skirt. It's also very old from ASOS. I like the style of it, but it does have some holes in it. So I feel like I will probably substitute it in the future. Another summer staple is this white linen trouser from the brand Roxy. Linen pants are absolutely fantastic in summer. They feel so light on my skin, yet elegant, especially in the white color. Next one is these low waist pants that I got second hand. I absolutely love low waist pants as my legs are quite long compared to my upper body and when I wear high waisted trousers my proportions look somehow very off. Plus low waist is just for me so much more comfortable. This is my latest addition to my bottoms, stretchy flared vintage jeans from Etsy. I bought them from a shop called Be My Dear. Definitely check her out if you're on a hunt for some great vintage clothing. Next is this fancy jeans from the brand called Ola Kala. Very thick quality jeans. I'll link everything I can in the description box. 
Those are my sport leggings that I got on Amazon. Definitely not the most sustainable and fair choice, but I couldn't find sustainable quality leggings yet and the quality of these ones is amazing, so I hope they last me very long. Here are my favorite pair of winter pets, water repellent, fleeced leggings, also from the brand Inakes. They are on the pricier side, but so far worth every penny as they are the only pair of trousers truly keeping me warm in winter. As for the jackets, I've got this white linen blazer, my absolute favorite in summer. And then the star of the show. This Burberry trench coat that I recently got from my mother-in-law. I was so happy about it. It's pre-born from her and she decided to gift it to me. I just love it so much as it's perfect for every occasion. So I feel like definitely everyone needs a trench coat in the wardrobe. Then I got this warm thick puffer jacket for cold winter days. I refused to get a winter jacket for the past years, but now I'm very happy I finally got one that keeps me warm yet stylish. And when the rain hits, our dog still wants to go out for walks, so I've got a cute yet functional raincoat that helps me to stay dry. I used to have only these boots for every occasion, from walking the dog to going to the restaurant, but this winter I got these warm boots in a store for dog supplies and I absolutely love them. I can quickly slip in and they are very warm and comfy. I used to only wear Birkenstocks for the past years, but they somehow got very pricey, so I decided to try something new. I got these sandals in a local store in France, and so far I love them. I've got one pair of sneakers from the brand New Balance. And then I have two pair of shoes for chicer occasions, one pair of summer wedges that are comfy yet chic, and then this pair of Jimmy shoes that I actually almost never wear, but I feel like even a minimalist can have at least one item that she probably doesn't need yet still attached to it. I also have two bags, a clutch from Longchamp and a shopper from the same brand. I can put the clutch inside the shopper to stay organized or wear it as a chic bag itself. Now for those of you who looked closely, you may have noticed that there weren't 45 pieces that I showed you here. And that's because I'm currently living in different locations and don't always have all my clothes with me. This makes it all the more important for me to keep a digital inventory of my possessions. I do this with a graphic in Canva. It helps me to see if new pieces fit into my wardrobe as well. When I buy something new, I first add it to my digital wardrobe and see if I can create beautiful outfits from it. Now, these were the items in my wardrobe. If you're interested, I'll soon show you how I combine these items to create beautiful outfits. I talk to you guys soon. Bye.